All right, let's dive in. Today, we're taking on AI agents. Sounds fun. We're checking out this YouTube video called AI Agents Explained Like You're Five. <laughs> Seriously, like you're five. Yeah, bold claim, right? Hi. But hey, if they can break it down for a five-year-old, maybe we can finally understand it too. I like that. So we're gonna see if they can actually pull it off. But before we jump in, let's start with the basics. What even I ask AI? Well, the video describes it as like raw brain power. Raw brain power. Yeah, like a super smart computer that can learn and solve problems. Mm. But by itself, it's not actually that useful. So it needs like a job, a purpose. Exactly. And that's where AI agents come in. Okay, so they give the AI like a task list, a set of instructions. You got it. The difference is AI is about intelligence, but AI agents are about action. Ah, so they take that intelligence and actually do something with it. Exactly. In the real world, they get things done. I like how the video compares AI to like a brilliant inventor with tons of ideas. Right. But it's the AI agent that actually builds those inventions and makes the ideas real. I see, I see. And they use a perfect analogy to illustrate how AI agents work the babysitter. A babysitter? Okay, I'm intrigued. Tell me more. Well, imagine you're a parent heading out for the night. You give the babysitter super specific instructions, right? Bedtime, snacks, emergency contacts, all that. Exactly. Just like that, developers train AI agents with data so they know what to do in different situations. They give them a framework, a workflow. So some AI agents are like those super experienced babysitters who've seen it all. Right. Pre-programmed to handle the usual stuff. And others are more specialized, like a babysitter who knows how to handle, I don't know, a kid with allergies. I get it. Some are built for general tasks, like answering customer questions, and some are customized for very specific jobs. You're getting it. Okay, this is making sense. But what do these AI agents actually look like? Are we talking robots? Like walking around and doing chores? Uh -huh. Not exactly. It's all happening behind the scenes, really. <laughs> behind the scenes. Yeah, we interact with them through an interface. Uh -huh. It could be like a chatbot on a website or a voice assistant. Hmm, so that's what we see. But what about the actual AI agent itself? Well, that's where the workflow comes in. It's like a flow chart. A flow chart. Yeah, each step is a task the AI agent needs to complete. Like maybe it has to pull data from a database, make a decision, then take a specific action. So while I'm just seeing a little chat window, there's this whole complex process happening in the background. Right like a hidden engine making it all work. I like that. And the video breaks this workflow down into four steps. Input, processing, action, and learning. Okay, let's break that down. Input is our request. Right, right what we ask the AI agent to do. Then processing is the thinking part. Mm -hmm. The AI analyzes everything, checks the data, figures out the best way to respond. Okay, and then action is where it actually delivers the result. Gives us information, completes a task, or creates something new. Exactly. And then there's learning. Yeah. And this is where things get really interesting. Yeah, this is what separates AI agents from regular computer programs. They actually learn and get better over time from every interaction. Whoa, so it's not just following the same rules over and over. It's adapting and improving with experience. That's right. They're constantly evolving. And that ability to learn makes them super powerful. And it's why everyone thinks they're going to change like everything. OK, I think I'm starting to get the how. But now the big question. W-H-Y should we care? Why is everyone freaking out about AI agents? Well, the video argues that AI agents are going to cause a huge shift in how we live and work. It's not just some tech upgrade. It's a total transformation. Especially for businesses, right? Oh, yeah. They're talking about AI handling everyday tasks, smarter customer service, making things more efficient. So businesses could automate so many things that humans are doing now. Right. Imagine how much time and money businesses could save. And that means employees could focus on more creative work. The stuff AI can't do. But the video also hints at a potential downside. If you don't adapt to this AI world, you might get left behind. It's true. This isn't a fad. AI agents are here to stay. And they're going to change the game. So this is kind of a big deal. A big deal. It's like a paradigm shift. But before we get too ahead of ourselves, let's bring it back to that why should we care question. How are AI agents impacting us right now, today? You know, the video focuses on the business side of things. Right. But I think the immediate impact is on our personal lives. We're already using AI agents all the time without even realizing it. Oh, you're right. Personalized recommendations on Netflix, smart home devices that adjust the temperature. Exactly. Hmm. And as they get smarter, they're going to be even more integrated into our lives. It's exciting to think about all the possibilities. 
but also the potential challenges. Absolutely. AI agents are bringing a lot to the table. A lot. Which leads us to another big question. How are AI agents going to change the way we interact with the world around us? That's a great question. But before we go there, I want to go back to that babysitter analogy. The babysitter. Yeah, it's great for explaining the basic concept, but can it really capture how complex some AI agents are in the real world? That's a good point. The babysitter analogy is a good starting point, mm -hmm. but it's just that, a starting point. Right. To understand the true potential of AI agents, we need to move beyond that simple example. Agreed. So let's shift gears and look at a real world example, something a bit more complex. Okay, how about self-driving cars? Ooh, now there's an AI agent that captures the imagination. And I bet there's a lot more going on under the hood than a simple set of instructions. You're telling me the AI agent in a self-driving car has to process so much data so fast, make split-second decisions, and learn and adapt to everything around it. It's incredible, a mind-boggling feat of engineering. It really shows you how AI agents are pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Absolutely. If we think about it in terms of the babysitter analogy, it's like the babysitter is now driving a car full of kids yeah. through rush hour traffic and making sure they're not eating candy and keeping them entertained. Uh-huh, exactly. It's a whole new level of complexity. And it shows the incredible potential of AI agents to do things that machines could never do before. It's mind-blowing, and self-driving cars are just the beginning. As AI agents continue to evolve, we're going to see them applied to even more complex tasks in every industry imaginable. No doubt. It's yes. truly an exciting time to be witnessing this technological revolution unfold. So we've got the basics down. We know what AI agents are, how they work, and the potential impact they can have on our lives. That's a great recap. But now we need to dig deeper into the why should we care question, because this isn't just about cool technology. It's about how these things are going to change the world around us. Right. It's about understanding the bigger picture. Exactly. To do that, we need to look at some specific examples of how AI agents are being used right now in the real world. Let's start with the business world, shall we? Sounds good to me. AI agents are already making a huge difference in businesses. Automating customer service, personalizing marketing, streamlining operations, even helping companies make smarter decisions. It sounds like they're becoming indispensable tools for businesses of all sizes. They really are. And as they continue to advance, we're going to see even more uses for them. Mm. The impact of AI agents goes way beyond business, though. It does. I mean, we're already seeing them in healthcare, education, transportation, even entertainment. The possibilities are endless. It feels like there are no limits to what these things can do, which is why we need to talk about them. This topic is so exciting and so important. It's not just about understanding technology. It's about understanding the future. Exactly. Which brings us back to this bold prediction from the video that AI agents will soon outnumber humans. Whoa, now that's a statement. It is. It raises so many questions. Big questions like, is that a future we should be excited about or scared of? And what does it mean for all of us as individuals, as workers, as a society? Those are the questions we're going to tackle next. Exactly. So stick with us, folks, because this conversation is just getting started. All right, welcome back, everyone. So last time we were talking about this idea from the video, a future where AI agents actually outnumber humans. Yeah, it really makes you think, doesn't it? What would that world even look like? It's kind of a mind-blowing concept. Like, is it a good thing, a bad thing? Well, the video seemed pretty optimistic about it. They focused on how AI agents could make our lives easier and businesses could run more efficiently. Right, like that demo they showed of the AI handling customer service. Yeah, that was pretty impressive. I know. The AI was answering questions, solving problems. It felt so natural. Like you were talking to a real person. Exactly. So it makes you wonder, if AI agents can handle stuff like that, what happens to all the jobs? That's a big question a lot of people are asking. Are we all going to be out of work? Oh, the video did touch on that. They said some jobs would definitely be automated. Makes sense. But they also said AI agents will create new jobs, new industries, stuff we can't even imagine yet. Hmm. So maybe it's not about replacing humans altogether, but more about changing the way we work. Exactly. It's about adapting, learning new skills. Right. The jobs of the future will require different things from us. So instead of being scared of AI agents, we should see them as tools, tools that can help us do more, achieve more. I like that. It's about empowerment. And not just individual empowerment, right? Think about the bigger picture, the potential for AI agents to solve some of the world's biggest problems. 
That's a really interesting thought. I mean, could they help us fight climate change, find cures for diseases, even tackle poverty? The possibilities seem endless. It's like we could be entering a whole new era of progress. Yeah, an era powered by AI. But we have to be careful, right? Of course. We need to make sure this technology is used responsibly, ethically, for the benefit of everyone, not just a select few. You're absolutely right. We can't just focus on the cool technology. We need to think about the impact on society. Like, how do we prevent bias? Make sure these AI agents are making fair decisions. Those are tough questions. There's no easy answer. It's going to require a lot of discussion collaboration between policymakers, researchers, ethicists, everyone, really. Mm. We need to figure out some ground rules. Guidelines, regulations, yeah. Exactly. To make sure AI is developed and used in a way that aligns with our values. That promotes a better future for all of us. Well said. It's a conversation we all need to be a part of. So it's not just about building smarter AI. It's about building a smarter society. I like that. A society equipped to handle all the changes that are coming. All right. Well, we've covered a lot of ground today. We have. But let's circle back to the video for a second. Our goal was to see how well it explained AI agents. Did it live up to the explained like your five promise? I think so. <laughs> the analogies were clear. They kept things simple, avoided all the technical jargon. I wow. think anyone could watch that video and understand the basics. I agree. That babysitter analogy was genius. It really helped break down a complicated topic. And while they stuck to the basics, they did hint at the bigger picture, like how AI agents are going to change the world. Right. They definitely got me thinking, left me wanting to learn more. Me too. I'm curious, did anything in the video surprise you or change your thinking about AI agents? Hmm. I was really struck by how much they emphasized the learning aspect. The learning. Yeah, how AI agents aren't just programmed with instructions. Mm -hmm. They can actually learn from their experiences, adapt and improve. Right. That's what sets them apart from regular software. It's what makes them so powerful. Exactly. But like you said earlier, with great power comes great responsibility. Yeah, absolutely. We need to be really careful about how we develop and use these AI agents. As they get smarter, ethical considerations become even more important. Right. It's a delicate balance. It is. And a conversation we need to keep having. Okay. So to wrap things up, the video left us with this one big question. If we're really headed for a world with more AI agents than humans, what does that mean for all of us? For our lives, our work, our future. That's the million dollar question, isn't it? It is. And it's one we can't ignore. No, we can't. We need to face it head on. And that's exactly what we're going to do in our final part. So stay tuned. All right. Final part. We've made it. We've talked about what AI agents are, how they work. We've seen some examples, talked about the potential benefits, the risks. Now, the big question. What happens when they outnumber us? It's a big one, that's for sure. Kind of a scary thought, right? It can be. Yeah. But it's also an opportunity. If AI agents are going to be everywhere, we need to be prepared. We need to make sure they're used for good. Yeah. Not just make things easier, but make things better. Exactly. We've talked about the benefits, streamlining things, solving problems. But what about the downsides? The things that worry you? I guess one of the biggest things is jobs, right? If AI can do so much, what happens to people's jobs? That's a valid concern. We could see a lot of jobs disappear, but it's not all doom and gloom. So there's hope. Absolutely. We need to focus on the skills AI can't replace. Creativity, critical thinking, problem solving, emotional intelligence. Those human skills. Exactly. We need to adapt, learn new things, and think of AI as a partner, not a replacement. A partnership. I like that. AI can handle the boring stuff. Yeah. And humans can focus on the things AI can't do. So it's not about us versus them. Nope. It's about working together. But there's more to think about than just jobs, right? Oh, definitely. There are big ethical questions, too. Like, how do we make sure these AI agents are fair? How do we prevent bias? And who decides what's fair? That's the tough part. It's going to take a lot of work, a lot of conversation. Between who? Everyone. Policymakers, researchers, ethicists, everyday people. We all need to be involved in shaping this future. So it's not just about the technology itself. It's about how we use it and the impact it has on society as a whole. We need to be smart about this, not just build smart AI, but build a smart society around it. Couldn't have said it better myself. Mm. It's a challenge, but I think we're up for it. So we've talked about all these potential changes, the good and the bad, but where do we go from here? Well, the video didn't really give us a roadmap, did it? 
No, it didn't. But it definitely got the wheels turning. It made us think about the future in a whole new way. And that's a good thing, right? It is. Awareness is the first step. Yeah. Then we need to have these conversations, ask tough questions, and work together to create the future we want to see. I completely agree. The future of AI is not set in stone. We're all shaping it every day. So as we wrap up this deep dive, I'm feeling hopeful. A little bit nervous, sure, but mostly hopeful. AI agents have incredible potential, but it's up to us to use them wisely. Couldn't have said it better myself. Thanks for joining us on this journey. We've covered a lot of ground. And remember, this is just the beginning of the conversation. Absolutely. This is not the end, just the beginning. Keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep imagining the future. Thanks for listening, everyone.